Welcome back to the channel. Happy Wednesday. So today I am doing a transfer I'm using a black base. I'm using some really beautiful colors, a couple of metallics. One of the dogs wants out. Uh, <laughs> um, but I'm using a large canvas. I'm going on a 24 by 30 and I'm going to spin it out. It's probably the biggest canvas I think that I've spun. So it should be interesting to see how much mess I get. But um, yeah, so the colors on this, and I'm gonna go kind of corner to corner so it can be either hung vertical or you can turn it and hang it on the horizontal. So any case, great colors, large canvas, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get down on the canvas and get started. I'll be right back. I'm going large. I think this might be the biggest canvas I've spun out. This is a, a 24 by 30. Um, what I'm doing is going to be a chaos ribbon swipe transfer i've got this on the vertical so let's get over here and get started and we'll i'll tell you the colors as i go all right so what the f i'm gonna do is put out some more black here just a little bit though not a whole lot so my first color i'm gonna put down is my deep sapphire from American Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. So this, just a little ribbon pouring of the colors. This is fluorescent red from Liquitex Basics. We're gonna go with Dioxazine purple. Some Arteza titanium white. Soho cadmium orange. And Regular Sapphire from Deco Art Metallics. I'm gonna put some Cell Activator White on the back of this palette knife. I'm gonna have to make some more white here. Let this run all over the palette knife here. Put it on the edge, keeping the front end of the knife up and just kind of gliding on through. Making that nice little pattern. Gonna put a little bit on the back of this smaller palette knife. Wow, that's so pretty, guys. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this entire palette up on this King Arthur bread knife, scoop it all up, and I'm gonna transfer it over to my painting. All right, so I'm gonna move you guys back over. So here, just gonna scoop quickly up under this. This grabs it all. Oh yeah, look at that. 
And then what I do is I let the leftovers here come up under, grab it, take it right back on the end because the end is going to get spun off every time. There we go. All right, let's do that again. It doesn't require much for this pillow paint. You just want a little bit so this will have enough room to spread out. So I put the black down and we'll come back in with a deep sapphire. That fluorescent red kind of got lost in the first deep dive there. So let's do that. Dioxazine purple. Get just a little white. A little bit of orange. And the regular sapphire. This one I'm gonna put right along this edge. So I'm gonna grab all of this quickly. Grab what's left. Put it up here at the end. So this last one, I'm gonna put right on top of here, but kind of covering up this little section. This section's gonna go off anyways, but. Okay, so let's do this. Let's give this a little bit of a torch. Let's see what I want to get rid of already. This. You can just use your palette knife to kind of connect things and disconnect things sometimes. 
Next up, we're going to put down lots of flow extender here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down and back towards me. Towards you. Move it very slowly. This kind of just stretches out the composition. Anchor it and come back. just giving it some shape here. I am not gonna like this composition. I don't know why that stayed over there. Man, oh man. Let's give this a spin, see where everything goes. I am going to create such a mess here. Again, spin. That stretched it out better. Let's go again.
All right, I've taken it down off the spinner. I've got to get some more paint off of the canvas. So let's, let's see if anything moves here. Still got a little bit of extra paint on here, so we're just gonna move this down. Give him a torch. All right, here we are with the wet results. So I had to work for this one because this one gave me a little bit of a trouble with the composition. I'm still not sold on that little knob that's right there in the middle right hand side. So I may paint over that once this dries, but I love the colors. And I love the composition and how everything streaks through. Um, it's gonna be hard to tell probably, yeah, here you go. So you can see that black area and then everything looks white. That is because of the Floatrol. So I will have to come in and recoat 
this black portion, negative space. But look at the lines, look at the streaks through here. Really cool. This little knob might get rid of, we'll see. But really cool. Like my color selection. We just have to see how it dries. All right, everyone, that is it for the piece. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure who was all on the train today. I know Mina and Kelly were talking about not doing the um, train this week because they're just really, really busy. So uh, maybe it's just me and Nate. I haven't spoken with him yet to find out if he's posting today or not. But if not, it's just me. So thank you so much for tuning in. All right, everyone, I will see you on Sunday. Have a great day. Don't forget, Sunday is the first of two days for our Earth Day collaboration put together by Nate Bright Art. So thank you, Nate. All right, everyone, see you Sunday. Bye-bye.